what's up, I'm Gio. Hey, what's up, I'm Bart. Hey, what's up, I'm Tiffany. I'm Joe, and you're watching Ask the, the Feels. And today we have a question from Gina. How do you build self-confidence? I'm pretty young, but all the time I feel insecure being super tan and chubby next to pale skinny boy girls. How do you build confidence, especially during your teens? Was her confidence question directed on physical attributes? I, it sounds about that right. way. Because her example was tan and chubbier compared to pale skinny. For me, I think confidence is uh, built through accomplishments and skills. Like you can't think your way to be confident by just sitting there. It has to be built through like accomplishments. One thing that, um, that I noticed about black women though is no matter their size, a lot of black women have a lot of confidence and they pull off a lot of wardrobe and styles that I feel like a lot of other bigger women are scared of. Like for example, a lot of Asian women, as soon as they get kind of big or chubby, they just kind of remove themselves from the presentation game. They're like, oh, you know what? I'm just kind of chubby. And I never really see them take care of themselves. But black women, the, even the ones that are on the bigger side, they'll wear colorful colors, and then they got these earrings, and then they got confidence, and they know what they have, and they know what they're working with. There's something interesting about that, and I feel like confidence comes from building these accomplishments, but there's also this self-reflection that you have exactly, to yeah. be able to accept what you're given yep. and when work with that too. Right. This is specifically from a female perspective, but when we're young little girls, like at least how I was raised, um, I didn't think of my image. Like I just wanted to have fun. I just wanted to play in dirt or I wanted to climb a tree or I wanted to play with Barbies and I'd never thought of my physical attributes and I was just happy with myself. Um, but then as I got older, I, I started like, I guess, comparing myself to other people and realizing like, wow, they're, they're pretty and they have that. And I see this person in the magazine, I see this person in TV and like, I want to, I want to be like them. But then, um, I was finding that like, now I started hating myself, but then, you know, just kind of like removing myself from that and just being like, yeah, I am kind of awkward this way or, yeah, you know, I am smaller or bigger in this area. Um, and I just learned to accept it because I'm like, well, what can you really do? Like if it's if it's an, a weight issue, then yeah, you can go and, and do the fitness thing and change that. But if it's things like my height that I in the beginning, I I guess I felt weird about. It's like you really can't change that. So it's like I'm just like going to embrace it. And I'm like, well, I can't do anything about it. So this is it. Or like if I have big hands, I'm like, well, that's it. Like, what, what can I do? Chop off my hands, hide them forever. It's like, no, then it is what it is. You kind of just move on past it. And then you realize that it's not that important. You know what's interesting? I met this guy in the Marine Corps and almost every guy I've met that's, even if they're six feet tall, they're like, man, I wish I was a little bit taller. Like David, he's 6'1". And he's like, man, I wish I was 6'3". You know, so height is like this thing that almost every guy wants more of. And I met this dude that was 6'6", six, six, and he would never stand up straight. And he would just always like tower, I mean like cower over like this. And he was self-conscious about his height because he felt like he was too tall. And I was like, fuck, if I could choose between 5'9 or 6'6, six, six, I'd just pick 6'6. Six, six. There's like no questions out. Like, I don't feel like I could be too tall. But it's just like he has what almost every guy in the world wants, but he feels insecure about it. He wished that he was shorter. So that tells me that whatever physical attribute you have, it's all about how you perceive it. So it's yeah. very important to accept it for who you are. And if you don't feel comfortable what you have, do what Joe said, change it. Change it. Yeah. Change it through yourself, build accomplishments, and you'll feel more confident about yourself. Didn't you say in high um, school you wanted to be chubby? Yeah, that's, I was thinking <laughs> And a lot of girls want to be as thin as you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I used to get that a lot. Like, people, girls would get mad at me for hating, for me hating how skinny I was because they wish I was skinny too. So I guess then it first starts with accepting and loving yourself at the core, emotionally. You have to balance the emotional with the, with the mental and the skills. And, and I think when you combine the two, that's when you build confidence. That's the recipe for confidence is first it starts with, motherfucker, I love me. This is just gonna be me. And then now you wanna be the best of you. You know, I'm never gonna be a uh, seven foot fucking Thor. That's just not in my genetics, but I can be the best five, seven fucking Asian dude on this planet. And I'm gonna be the best of my ability of who, who I can, right? So like, there are girls that look like you, that are beautiful, that a lot of guys want. How can you see these different role models 
of like staying who you are, but then the best of who you are. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode of Ask the Feels. If you guys never want to miss an episode, make sure to subscribe. If you like the video, like the video. If you guys have any questions you guys would like to submit, go ahead and visit askthefeels.com. And if you guys want to stay close to us and see what we're up to, follow us on all our social medias in the description down below. Check out what we just shot. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a while to have sex the second time. It was probably like... How long? Like seven months? Not seven. It was probably like... Three? Was 